Anderson ticket, talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket, talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket, talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Welcome back, Triple B. I changed it up. We are back with a big belly brunch, baby, just yeah. for you. B, another B, 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 B. Right? Yeah, B, 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 baby, big belly brunch. <laughs> but before we get into this brunch, I'm gonna need y'all to do something for me. Okay, pasta. I'm gonna need y'all to get this video <laughs> with thumbs up. I'm gonna need you to comment below, baby. And make sure you share it out. Share it out. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Okay. Let's pray. Holy Father, thank you for this meal. I'm about to receive. Please keep us strong and our faith strong as well. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Miss Shan, what do we have here? Because I believe you requested this meal today. Oh, I did because I wanted an omelet for breakfast, I mean for dinner. So we got some loaded om omelets. I would say almonds. Loaded omelets with, I think there should be cheese, tomatoes, onions, mushrooms, peppers. Then we got some bacon on some top. Bacon on top. <laughs> I'm just so hungry. And some green onions. And then we got some fried potatoes. A little bit of onion. And of course, the start of the show is chicken and waffles. Yeah. Because we're brunching it, baby. I mama, said I wanted some brunch for dinner, baby. Mama gets what mama wants. Here is some syrup for you. Thank you. Like I said, there's just some extra pieces of chicken for display but you know somebody's probably gonna eat those me and then we got our i doubt that if you really think you're gonna eat it i bet i bet i bet you won't well these are display but i need to you point oh out. we don't know butter for the waffles they were buttered i didn't okay. put extra butter i promise you they were buttered I don't know. Can you mix syrup and jam? Are you dropping on me over there? That's that crunch, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, one of those jellies said it goes great on pancakes. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever had jelly on pancakes? I honestly haven't had jelly on pancakes. I have. I was drinking water with my lemon again today. I've had it because there's been times where you just didn't have any syrup. Yeah. So you had to. Uh, you had to eat jelly. Yep. Now I've never had jelly on any chicken. Kind of ketchup, please. Mm hmm. Mm. If you have, I'm sure you've had some type of um, like you know, like a pepper jelly. You know what I mean? Like some um. Yeah, some type of like pepper chicken or uh, chili, you know what I'm trying to say. Like I some guess. type of chili glazed or like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know you put jelly in your like, uh, or like balls. The, yeah, and then like they've had like chicken that is glazed in like hot pepper jelly. Hot pepper jelly, that's what I'm trying to say. Hot pepper jelly. And you know what? I'm doing all this cutting. I think I'm about to just go in for a bite. I have some, um, I got a hot ketchup for the fries. Mm -hmm. I have my hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For my chicken and waffles. Bob made us everything here. Mm -hmm. Nice and fresh from scratch. She picked me out today. But, you know I me, mean? I can eat breakfast any time of day. Well, this is brunch. What well, brunch? Yes, I'm sorry. Well, part of it is breakfast food. Mmm, nice. Want us get a bite of chicken on there too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> you just be like, 
that's why your days where you're not really listening to me, but you your ears observe that I'm talking. So you'll just be like, I heard you say what a nice piece the, of chicken the with the waffle. The female counterpart has said something, so say, mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to taste it just like it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that wasn't for me in that case. Mm -hmm. Here's a piece of um, some chicken and waffle. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. We had a big white baby. Wow. Let me get that. Uh, Mm. We're doing Louisiana tonight. I think since I started YouTube, I mean, I swear I've never had this much hot sauce in the house at one time. Mm -hmm. And it's like now, it's like, I swear it's probably like 10 bottles down there of hot sauce. Oops. It was a bite. Of course, so I can tell. You put some type of cinnamon and sugar in the waffles, right? I definitely taste cinnamon well, in here. Well, I'm supposed to pick out the waffle cup. You say what? I'm supposed to pick out who got what waffle cup. If you had the real big one, definitely a lot of cinnamon in it. But so you had one where you put more cinnamon in it for you because you wanted a whole bunch. The last two had cinnamon. The first ones didn't. Oh. So I was gonna do either one and one or let you choose. Oh. Well, I mean, I didn't say it was a lot, just so I could taste what you added. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I was actually supposed to, that's my egg. This one got more cheese. Uh-huh. Hmm. Let me do some adjusting. Think of the uh, that's what I do. It's kind of got me thinking of the Top Gun movie for some odd reason. I didn't molest that chicken. All right, so what you do best is molest. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, now you got a little further ways to get to the food that's still there. eating started to eat I was watching uh, YouTube earlier and um, you were talking about honey boo boo I think and they was had the robots that was serving the food or was it coming to the hotel room or something it was a robot called the Beverly so it pretty much was dispensing like I guess beverages or anything you could probably find in the mini bar the mini fridge in your hotel room but he was outside just patrolling the corridors of the hotel. So if you need them, you just push the button like, give me a coat. Mm -hmm. Here's the money. And he gave you a coat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a cool that the robot does that. And like I said, I was watching the Glovers earlier. And they went to a... If you don't know about life with the Glovers, Glovers go check them out. Mm -hmm. Good channel, guys. Yeah, I'm going to that. And they went to a seafood restaurant. And the waiter or waitress was a robot. It had like a cat face on it and brings you the food. Mm. So I was like, okay, that's cool and all, but like, isn't that cutting out somebody's job? Like, do you tip the robot? Mm -hmm. But it's bringing out like the to go orders. I've seen the camera have some entrees, some other stuff, some french fries. So that's just crazy. That that's what the, it's coming to. Is that some stuff they did like due to you know what was going on in the world? Yeah. I think I read too that like maybe one of the little Mexican places like Udoba or Chipotle, one or two, had like this machine that was pretty much making the guacamole and stuff for them. <laughs> so yeah, I can see that. Crazy. It's like George Jetson and stuff. So they only can make their own guacamole no more, huh? Mm hmm. I always like George Jetson, though. Mm hmm. Just like I was watching my favorite movie, which is 
What? The fifth element. Yes. Ding, ding. I was watching yesterday this thing, like one scene where she's about to jump out the building and how like all the cars is just in the sky mm -hmm. and the dumpling man comes by, you know, and he's in a little boat but it's floating in the sky. Mm-hmm. I'm just like the Jetsons. Everything was in the sky. So are we it's like when are we actually gonna get to that? Drop it, baby. I know. It goes in the mouth. I know. It's a big hole right there. I know. You got a mustache to to sketch out the way to go with everything. I know. Man, I'm like, when is when are we gonna have this Jetson future? Where we're gonna be flying cars. And then like in the fifth element, there was like no ground, you know? Mm-hmm. That's ketchup. Well, you never did show up. Well, I guess they, they, they well, don't build this. We are eating both of those are of us are eating those potatoes, don't forget. I know, but this is for my eggs. Okay. I don't want to put ketchup in the eggs, especially with some Tabasco. But yeah, they never did really walk on any earth. It was showed them flying around, and next you know, they was out in space. Yeah, so like, what happens if you fall out the sky? Are you going to die because it's like way in the sky? <laughs> no. Like, what when your car breaks down? You'll fall to the ground? Yeah, like if your car stops, is it just going to float in midair, or is it going to fall, like you said? Mm -hmm. Now, ever happened on the Jetson? George Jetson car never broke down. Right, they were flying freely. They weren't like on tracks or nothing. Yeah, they're flying freely. Hold on. I like how you talking about when you've been watching Back to the Future was the first movie that had. Mm -hmm. Look at my mouth. That had stuff in the eighties that we have today. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, they yeah. were talking on TV, voice chat, video you know, chat. I mean, that goes all back to, too, like how the Simpsons, you know, predict. In fact, they even have flat everything. screens. Yeah. Well, whoever makes the Simpsons is it like a side hustle for somebody that's like him, like running the world type of stuff. Hmm. They just know too much. That's a side hustle to run the world. That's the best side gig ever. Well, I meant making the Simpsons was a side hustle. <laughs> yeah, I was just serve how I can get a chance to Man, you're one needy uh, mukbanger today. Normally you give it back. I'm trying to get through this chicken. I'm like super sticky though. That omelet is good. It would pretty much be a vegetarian omelet if we didn't have the bacon on top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like veggies in my egg. My egg's full of veggies. Definitely onions. Definitely mushrooms. Definitely tomatoes, which I'm uh, still looking for. They're in there. Oh, I see one. They're in there. I see it, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you what you want. You got me what you talking about. I don't know. Want. Sometimes I be forgetting. If that's the case. Let this video be a witness that I would like. I don't no, know. I'm, I'm <laughs> technical difficulties. <laughs> no. You gotta ask on Tuesdays. <laughs> like, you give me days. What? Special <laughs> requests are made on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Whatever, it don't come with that. That's my, that's my gig. <laughs> you think you're funny, huh? Mm hmm. Sometimes though, I just feel like I just need to pick it up. Mm-hmm. And then take a bite of waffle. Well, that's a question. Jelly and chicken goes good together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's like if you have a chicken biscuit. What are you putting on your chicken biscuit? Mm-hmm. All right. Right? So I definitely had jelly on it because I know I just love hardest chicken biscuit with jelly. I also do pork, you know, pork tenderloin sandwich with jelly on it. Who else? Oh, that was uh, Hardy's again. They had that. Yeah, they got that. Uh, they had that pork. That country something. Mm -hmm. I've been mad since we had a nice uh, Hardy's breakfast. Yeah, Hardy's was a spot. Hardy's in general. We haven't been to Hardy's in a minute. Well, the burgers are good. We don't really have one over here. They got the burritos. You know? And then yeah. the one we used to have on the east side, it was like, 
every time we go to it, there are no cars in the drive-thru, and that's another way I can see what's going on. Like, if the drive-thru ain't got nobody in there, sometimes that's not a good thing. Mm. You think it's a good thing, because you're like, oh, I can just get in and get out, you know? Mm-hmm. But, that's one of the times either when you don't see no cars that the machine is broken, you know, not taking no, like you said the other day, what did rallies tell you? <laughs> they, were, they was only doing, uh, I think they was only doing card they were doing only. Card only. Or something. No, yeah, you said card only. They weren't taking cash. Mm -hmm. So when does that happen when they say we're not taking cash? I mean, I can understand probably it was a legitimate circumstance. I mean, they couldn't get the safe, couldn't get changed. Yeah, I couldn't get in the cash register, maybe. Well, yeah, usually you always take cash, but at least say exact change only or yeah. something. Okay, usually. I try to get people, you know, be on the, uh, come in the window and be like, uh, card only. You know, that's cool. I don't know if it's just our rallies only, but both of the rallies that we've been going to lately, they make you order in one line, and then you gotta go all the way around and come on the other side <laughs> yeah. of the window. So instead of taking two orders from both sides like they used to, one side's for taking orders, and then you go back, get back in line. For pickup. To pick up your food. I'm like, that makes no sense, you know? You guys, put in the comments if your rallies or checkers does that. Which, I don't think they do, because I think we went to like a checkers in Atlanta or something, and they oh, didn't yeah. do that. Mm-hmm. All right, where you can go. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's just because it's a lack of employees. But it was funny, because we had Diva in the car, and um, it seemed like the guy that when, that was giving us our pickup order was the same guy that took our order. So it seemed like obviously maybe it was just him or somebody else in the place. And he's just there, sitting there talking out the window to because he was barking. And Bob was like, you better get back in there and cook the food. Yeah, it's like, how are you sitting over here <laughs> talking to us? With us? Are you supposed to be in there flipping burgers? <laughs> or whatever fries. he was supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah. Some. If there's only two of y'all in there, you supposed to be doing something. Uh, other person doing something, you know what I'm saying? Or you shouldn't have no downtime. I don't know, I just wouldn't want to work in a place like that. I wouldn't want to go to work knowing that I'm the only employee there, or if it's going to be me and somebody else, we're going to have to take on the world for eight hours. Mm hmm. I don't know. Skeleton crew and stuff. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't know. Is there something else you need, Don? Mm hmm. I you know what I mean. I'm always trying to make sure they can see everything. Like, we're trying to eat this stuff. <laughs> well, you put it all the way in the back. Well, like I wanted my egg. It was either that or pick up the egg. I guess I could have picked up the egg. That'd be all right. I would have adjusted it. All to right. Were you the one that was concerned? I wanted my egg. Go ahead and have more cheese in it. No, I'm saying you were concerned about them seeing. Mm -hmm. I got y'all. That's why I got two views. They got the two views so y'all can see behind the scenes underneath the table. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I be like, the only reason I'm not going to probably eat these other pieces of chicken because I'm going to want something to eat later. Eat the piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm going to want something to eat later on. And the thing is with me and waffles, like I love waffles. But when I got like two of them, I feel like I'm doubling up on the waffle. So if I eat half of it, I technically ate one waffle. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. You know what I'm saying? Pure genius. Pure Yes, genius. there's a method to my madness. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully, did you get some napkins you said? Mm-hmm. Hopefully y'all are doing all right. Mm -hmm. Ready for the weekend? Some of you just got a pay. By the time they, they see this, it will be the weekend. Yeah. Huh? So hopefully your weekend is going good. Obviously, if you were watching this video, you woke up, so you are blessed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's like, I don't, first of all, I just want an omelet. 
<laughs> then it was like, I oh, wanted waffles. I think I'm the one suggested the chicken. No. You said just the chicken? I said we'll have brunch and we'll have chicken and waffles. I think uh, I think I suggested that. You're right, my darling. You suggested that. Yeah, I believe her. No. I said we know Michelle thought of that. Ooh, man, like I said, water do be refreshing, baby. Excuse me. Oh, I'm actually in that. Yeah, I just hit that spot. Yeah. What do you say is like your favorite brunch slash breakfast spot? Spot? What'd you say? Mm -hmm. I never really went to brunch. Well, any place is brunch that you know you might go and eat breakfast at 11 o'clock, you know, like that's going with your mama and sister that I have at 11 o'clock, oh, yeah. that's brunch, you know what I'm saying, I don't really, it's not like, Technically, we yeah. only serve brunch for you. I think at home, I don't never really actually went nowhere though, just actually said, I'm going to have brunch. I'm just saying though, so you don't like IHOP, you don't like Denny's, you don't like Lincoln Pancake? No, I didn't say that. That's what I'm asking. I mean, I, I was have like Lincoln's right now, I grew up in a place in Gary called the Big Wheel when I was a kid. You're not king anymore. And then it became News Jonathan's. Newsflash. <clears throat> I mean, between the Waffle House and IHOP, they're about the same to me. I mean, I don't know. And then I guess I probably like Denny. I don't know. I, I say I like Art Skillet. That's yeah. one of my favorites. I'm talking about stuff that everybody can get to. Well, you have your favorite brunch place, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Or not necessarily brunch. Don't let me confuse you. Well, it's a breakfast spot, really. If I was going back there, like I said, I used to like that place from Mosey. Called the Sunshine mm -hmm. Cafe or Sunrise Cafe. Um, what's it called that? Um, I used to. Somewhere. The Country Kitchen is where I used to go to in Mosey. I believe. And that was like a diner. It was like right off the. It was on a corner. Mm. Of, uh, it wasn't on campus, it was like off campus. Well, I'm speaking but of it. was a place everybody used to go to and they had some really, really good food. Well, of course, you could see some fun, crazy people because you know you would go like after the bars closed. Oh, yeah. And it was yeah. open 24 hours. So you would see all kinds of people in there. People with their kids at 2 o'clock in the morning. You're like, what the heck are you doing eating out with your kids at 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Only in Muncie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Right, you know, are you, are you full or are you I'm satisfied? Full. I'm satisfied. One big waffles and you ate half, makes that whole one. I know, that's why I said. There was some pretty thick waffles there. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I, I said I wasn't gonna put some jalapenos in, but I'm glad I didn't. I like the spicy ketchup, it's just like I got the right amount of heat. Sorry guys, I was eating today. No, I know what you're talking about. I've been uh -oh. doing the talking. I could. And you just been like, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. Or you making the food, you be like, <laughs> And who said I didn't want to wear potatoes, man? You said you was done. <laughs> Made then, on my plate. And then I said that you want some more potatoes. You said, uh-huh. I'll make you some more. You want those? No. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, I'm fat, but hmm? what? I'm making some more in the morning. Tomorrow. Yeah. All right, guys, we uh, enjoyed our food. Hopefully, you enjoyed it with us. Uh, we had a cup piece of chicken left. I had uh, about. <sighs> about half of one waffle left, so I'm pretty full. That's two and a half waffles. They were pretty big. Hmm. Yeah, they were pretty big. But other than that, man, I'm I'm good. You good? I just need y'all to do something for me. What's that? I need y'all to get this video a thumbs up. I need you to comment below, baby. And make sure you share, share it out. out. Share, share it out. out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm 
big belly vibe. I'm a Shane. Peace. Bye.